Hello again, my beautiful potatoes. It is post-workout. I did, in fact, do the workout as rx although, um, I have my, sorry for the jiggle, I really need to get out, like, a phone tripod or something. So, um, I wrote down how many swings I did on the back of this envelope, and, um, I'm actually really, really happy, and I went over the minimum amount of swings. I did 20 extra swings. So for the heavy bell, my first set was 60, which made me really happy. And then uh, 20 and 20. Light bell, my first set was 35, but I went straight from the heavy bell 20 to the 35, so it was, um, I was 55 swings in a row. And then uh, another 50, and then I went ahead and did 20 extra on, um, uh, to, to finish that up. So. Endurance is going up, which is good. I may be able to start transitioning into um, doing like a, a sets of 50 with the lighter bell. I may think about doing that sometime this week. Just do like four sets of 50 to hit 200 or um, or something else along those lines with the lighter bell or maybe just doing more swings with a heavier bell, like a, a two or 300 swing uh, uh, workout with just the heavy bell because I'm kind of growing out of the bell sizes that I have, but don't have the money to get a new bell, so I'm gonna have to figure out other ways to make them work. Super sweaty. Um, as per usual, after you do 200 kettlebell swings. And um, I don't think my form was really good on the, um, um, they're not glute hinges. What the, yeah. I have post-workout brain. Um, hip thrusters. I don't think my form is good on the hip thrusters. I actually have a little bit of soreness in my lower back, but I can't tell if that is because I'm still recovering from the car accident and my lower back muscles got really, really weak when I couldn't work out at all. And I'm basically spent like two months in bed and that'll fuck up your spinal, um, spinous erectors or whatever. Um, so I have some soreness in my lower back and I'm not sure if that's just because I need to put on some more muscle there or if it's because I fucked up my form on the, uh, the the hip thrusters. Pretty sure it's a little of both. Um, when I first started swinging kettlebells, I actually got really, really skittish for a while because my lower back was hurting. And it's just because um, on me that was a, a particularly weak muscle set, so as soon as that caught up, it, didn't, it wasn't sore anymore. I will say I definitely felt this workout in my glutes a lot more doing the glute activation beforehand. Um, I'm really loving that. I think that's really gonna work. And I hate the world slightly less now that I've finished my workout. Although I am now sweaty, which I hate, and that makes me hate the world slightly more. So I'm going to count it like 10 points in the win column uh, for today. Um, and that I do feel better. And I definitely feel less self-pitying. And even though it took me till like noon to get my ass in gear, um, I'm actually very proud of myself for doing my workout as I had planned and even doing a little extra work when I feel this shitty. So, yay, that makes me happy. And uh, hopefully that will help in the uh, the fight against the, the fat and, uh, oh, hey. this stuff. Arr. Yeah, I bet that's exactly what you were looking for this morning. Brighten up your day. So, um, I'm glad I did it. Yay.